People were really excited. Some people were really angry. There were some people who got on top of uh, cars. There were a couple uh, Trump supporters at the march, actually, or like before we entered the march, and some people were getting really angry around them. But for the most part, people were peaceful and happy, and the, the churches, as you walked along the, the route, they, ha they were playing songs with the church bells. Mm -hmm and then they were playing Lady Gaga and some other stuff just like get people excited and then people were singing and there was a lot of energy, a lot of really great signs too. I went to the DC Women's March with my mom um, and I think so at the, in the morning there was a woman holding a sign that said like why are we still fighting for this and my mom said that and was like no that's like exactly how I feel right now. I decided to go to the Women's March because it felt like it was going to be a piece of history and I wanted to be there to be a part of it. Beyond it being issues that I care about and beyond me wanting to be an activist, yeah. it, it felt like there was going to be so much happening in it that it, it would have been impossible to miss. I think one of the really great things about the Women's March in DC at least was um, they emphasized a lot of like women of color, queer women, disabled women, um, women like Muslim women. And so I think that was really cool just to give light to like, it's so much more than just white feminism. In New York, it actually was pretty intersectional. There were a lot of trans people there with signs. It was definitely more white than I would have liked to see being that New York is a very diverse city, not as intersectional mm -hmm. as it could have been, but I think that's, pretty natural with a march of that size. It was crazy because I got there at around uh, like 10.45 and at that point um, the park was already completely filled with people and the march ended up actually being cancelled but no one knew and no one really cared. So I think that in itself said something about the environment at the march itself. You know people were so excited to be there and there were mothers with their like two-year-old children and there were grandparents. Um, and so for me that was unlike any other rally or protest I'd ever been to because it was so much of everyone's event. And I think it was really cool to go with my mom because she's like worked um, a lot like she was involved in the feminist movement during the 60s. So it was really cool to go with her because she was telling me that her original connection to DC was going with her parents to marches and protests in Washington DC. Um, so just to like hear her experience, I mean, she said while we were walking, like, this is the biggest march she's ever been to in Washington, D.C., like, bigger than Vietnam. So it was really cool to like hear her actually say those words because we still see in our like history textbooks today, like the protests in Vietnam. And if like the Women's March of D.C. like was bigger than that, then like hopefully this will have an impacting like last in history.